welcome to See Through Glass. As you can see, we are in the BMW M4 and we are headed out of Liverpool. It is a grey and pretty miserable day, if I'm honest, and I'm pretty exhausted. <laughs> I did not get a lot of sleep last night. I was up late editing and then I had a friend who was in town as well. And all in all, it means I've had uh, very limited sleep. But I'm determined to carry on with my adventure of 100k week. So what are we doing today? Today, I'm quite intrigued by today, quite excited. I am going to visit two uh, kind of quite big supercar dealerships in the north of England. First up, Amari Supercars, and then I'm going to go on to Khan Design, and then eventually we'll be headed back to London. God, I realise I've been talking for a very long time this morning. What a long intro. I apologise for that. I blame it on my tiredness. Ugh. Bumpy road here in Liverpool as well. Anyway, I'm going to put my head down and get to our first stop, Amari. I've arrived at my first stop in the morning. It is Amari Supercars. You guys are not going to believe what this place is like when we step inside. It's basically Santa's Grotto for car fans. I don't think there are any elves running around, but there might be. But the cars are freaking incredible. of you may recognize Amari from his now international superstardom on Channel 4, but here he is, now on Seems of Glass. Thank you for having me down today. You're more than welcome. It is an amazing. Me. I'm slightly hyperventilating with how insane that this showroom <laughs> is, I have to say. But talk me through it, because I've just kind of walked around and sort of shown everyone what is in here. But what are the stories? What's what's your favourite cars? Well, what's going on? I mean, this is just a small selection of what we've got. Obviously, we've got more cars than this. That blows uh, my mind as well. But well, cool. I mean, uh, we've, we've always got two of everything or three of everything. Sure. You know, so we always part one of everything in here. If there's room, then we'll part two of two things like that. We've got two Enzo's. Ooh. We've got a, a red one and we've got a black one. Ooh. This car's just come in. This okay. is our. Um, First Enzo of the year. Last year we sold four Ferrari Enzos. No. We're very well out of them, yeah. That's and, outrageous. Uh, and, and this car's come. It's not on the market yet. Okay. It will be in the market in March. Amazing. Uh, this car is. So, um, and we've got two F40s. Okay. <sighs> one F40 is in the workshop. One F40 is uh, just parked in the barn at the moment. It won't be. Won't be advertised until March again. You know, <laughs> so casual, you're like, yeah, two Enzos, yeah. two F40s, yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah, we'll do things in twos. Yeah. You know I mean? so a bit like Noah. Amazing, a bit like Noah, <laughs> perfect, yeah. Well, if there's a flood, I'll be coming to you and we'll just exactly. load, load yeah, up yeah, the yeah. cars. Here's the flood, we've got another one in the barrel. <laughs> yeah. so we've also got here as well uh, a couple of my favourite cars. Obviously, I'm a big Diablo lover. Sure. Obviously, we've obviously, everybody knows that we've got a big history with Lamborghini. We've obviously been selling them. We've got a big row here as well. Of, it's uh, so cool, this lineup all the way down. Uh, of Lamborghinis. Also, obviously, this is one of 13 count ashes that I've got, which is the, the green one, which I'm recently. 13? 13, yeah, 13. <laughs> My looking number's 13. Do you 13. think you're obsessed? I know, yeah, yeah. Everything's 13 as well. 13. Two and 13. Oh my yeah. God, it's amazing. So uh, that's, that's one of the uh, uh, 13 that which I just bought in just um, into the new year as well. This is a very rare colour, which is what is called Rolls Royce Green. Rolls Royce uh, Green? Oh, it is. I can see it's yeah. green. I thought it was black. Yeah, no, no, no. It's Rolls Royce Green. That's if you look at it, you can yeah. see that uh, this is the only one in the world of this colour. Wow, wow, wow. So wow, at the wow. end of the day, I mean, somebody who wants a nice countash, there's a bit unusual, looks a bit um, uh, out of uh, place. Sure, but, but, sure. Yeah, I'm not yeah, as if yeah. a countash does look out of place. Yeah, I was going to say. I mean, you're I mean, going to have a countash, why not have a green one? Have a green one, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and the dark, it's something quite elegant about having it as a dark yeah, yeah. green one. See, the good thing about this car is, is that in the daytime it looks green. And that time it looks black. Yeah, so yeah. You can tell people you've got two. Yeah. We'll go back to two again, don't we? <laughs> there you go. So you're, you're obsessed with having two cars. Two cars obsessed again with having in one two car. cars. Okay, so, cool. I mean, uh, that's a good thing. But at, black, at night time, it does look black. Fine, okay. So yeah. you can get away with you having one away. car but claiming you yeah, have two. Exactly. I like that. That's good style. So, this, this, this is one of the um, uh, uh, special cars we've got here, which is, again, a great post war car. Yeah, yeah, we've really got, cool. We've got a lovely, lovely mirror here. Yeah. This car in particular here, this has got a good story behind this. This is what we believe and what we've been told. This is Rod Stewart's car. Oh, no way. So we've got the paperwork for it as well, which is, which is phenomenal. But the thing is that when he got his first number one in 1971, which is Maggie May, sure. this is the car that he bought. No way, that's yeah. so yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, let me just white. update my younger viewers. If you don't know, guys, Rod Stewart's a singer. That's for your 15 year olds, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously he sang that very famous song, Do You Think I'm Sexy? Do you 
I think he, I think he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's talking about his cars more than the women. Sure, but, yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah. This is so, outrageous. So this is this, this is um, a mirror. This is a car that's obviously been fully uh, refurbished. It's um, obviously um, uh, it looks beautiful. It's for a discerning real collector, you know, real Lamborghini guy. This, the, 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 this car. And you have got the, the the very famous SV Merchant Lago. Two SVs next to each other. Two right-hand drive right SVs drive, is yeah, just yeah, madness. Yeah, it's crazy. And these cars are phenomenal. I mean, yeah, if you look so at it, cool. In comparison to these at the moment, is something like, let's say, the 599 GTO. Sure. So a right-hand drive 599 GTO today is around about 800 to 900 thousand pounds. Madness. These are still very, very cheap cars. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so grand. cheap, Amari. Yeah. Really, just like an absolute bargain there for 360 yeah. grand. Pocket change. That's what <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. Of course. Yeah, they're the so cool. You, you just, you know, you literally, yeah. you, you hardly ever see these cars on the road anymore. They're so amazing. As you say, the performance, the style, the sound yeah. um, and considering that the GTOs are as ridiculously expensive I mean this is the least and the best of the Mercial Argos. You will not yeah. get anything yeah, yeah, close yeah. to this. And the paint on this one is oh, incredible. I already showed the guys the paint, but it is just incredible. And did you get it like this, or do you guys do detailing and stuff we like that? We do all the detailing here. Okay. Obviously, well, I'll show you the workshop. Um, obviously, I mean, we, we do all our own work here in-house, um, uh, detailing, servicing, getting the cars absolutely ready for, for the showroom. Sure. So, I mean, yeah, they, they, they do go to uh, great lengths here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and now here's a, a couple of SLSs. Well, <laughs> no, this SLSs. is a gold mine here, yeah, surely. Gold mine here, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. ridiculous. I, I don't know if you know, guys, but literally, I mean, what, about nine months ago? Like these cars were 80, 90 grand? 80, 90 grand. Yeah, it's outrageous, and they are just flying, flying yeah, up. And, and these, we just bought these into stock. Um, great, great cars, low mileage, convertible, and, and a coupe, and, and, and a Gullwing. And as you know, probably the only other Gullwing that Mercedes and Benz made was the car that they made back in the 60s. Yeah, yeah, the original 300 SL. 300 SL, SL yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So between that and this, Obviously, there's nothing ever been around. Sure. So obviously, this this now is obviously rising in price yeah, and yeah. it's becoming very very strong. Do you prefer the roadster or the coupe? Do you something? It's a good question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't actually know. Yeah. <laughs> I think to be honest, no. In fact, to be honest, no. I do not. I think if anything. Gullwing. Oh uh, yeah, and for me, also I'm not a massive Gullwing. fan of soft tops, but yeah. there's like, you, you know, the Gullwing doors are so cool. Yeah, yeah. It's just pimping, isn't it? Because it's such like a big GT car, and then you turn up it and is, you go, yeah. Gullwing. Exactly, Gullwing. Yeah. I'm actually slightly more excited by the 488. Well, let's talk about the 488. Yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. This, this 488, I was, I was privileged to be the very first one in the world, and, and again, a lot of people that follow us will probably know, is to get delivery of this. 488 and, yeah. I, and I got it. I remember seeing your pictures so early, like literally on Twitter or on Instagram, exactly, I can't remember, yeah. and I was like, oh my God, how on earth did they get that 488? It's so yeah. cool. Well, this, this is the first car and I, and I got this from, from Ferrari. Wow. And, the, and these guys were obviously, they were very helpful and they were, they were, they were very, um, I should say, generous. Sure, yeah, sure. Because obviously I, I've got a big Ferrari collection myself. Okay. You know, I've got a 288, I've got a 40, a 50. Wow, wow. Enzo. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wait, so, so you're not, a, are you a Lambo guy or a Ferrari guy? Well, I kind of like <laughs> Converted. It's like converting from Islam to Christianity. <laughs> okay, amazing. No, really cool that you got one of the very first ones. As I said, I'm, I'm really excited by it. I really enjoyed driving this car. I've done about 3,000 miles on it. No way. Yeah, I have. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You used to go and buy milk, egg. <laughs> you lad. Go to the gym. <laughs> yeah, so Not unnecessary, but literally the dream. Just talking in the gym. <laughs> Just saying, that's my car parked outside. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> While I'm running, I'm actually going to... Yeah, there. guys, look, look, my car's outside. <laughs> Here's a rare car. Yeah, really, really rare car. 499 and, cars. But, but, but cheap in the grand scheme of things for 16Ms, the one you got well, here. It is, yeah. I mean, 279, if you compare it, we've got a right hand drive car, which sure. we put on the market in March, a red car, which has only done 2,000 miles, and that car will be up at probably around about 400. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't actually noticed this is a left hand drive one, which yeah, kind of makes more yeah, sense this, for this the price. But drive, yeah, yeah su super rare, and obviously scud performance with a soft top, so you can show off and let your hair blow in the wind, not mine. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> There you have it guys, basically a, qu a quick, I mean it wasn't that quick because there's so many outrageous cars in here. It is ridiculous, I mean, I just now want to go and win the lottery and then come and buy them all, but uh, I need to buy two to be like a Mari. <laughs> but yeah, so, so cool. So I was casually minding my own business when a trailer turned up outside Amari's and if you ask me, that is a challenge to Dali. Oh, I'm holding my breath. It is. It definitely is. <gasps> oh my freaking god. I have just very quickly become one of the happiest people in the world. <laughs> Oh, 
Okie dokie, so here we are inside the wonderful 488. I'm being driven by um, Ali, who works with uh, Amari, or at Amari. Um, and we are just going to head out for a very quick bus. As you can see, the weather is still pretty awful, so we're not going to be doing anything too crazy today. <laughs> Right, okay, here we go, <laughs> ladies and gents. I never know why I say ladies, because let's face it, there's probably about half a lady watching this channel, if that at maximum. Um, but we are now in the driver's seat of the 488. I'm gonna put the point of view glasses on and hopefully this time they actually work. We are good to go. Thank you very much to Ali for letting me experience the car. Thank you very much for bringing it back in one piece. Yeah! <laughs> And we are back at Amari. What an insane morning it has been down here at Amari. The stock is incredible. So a challenge for Dahlia. I drove a 488. I mean, freaking, oh, and now it's starting up. I mean, brilliant, freaking brilliant. Okay, up next, I'm headed to Khan Design. So, I mean, my day is going to get even more ridiculous. I'm going to have so much footage to edit. I don't know how I'm going to fit it all in. It's going to be an 18 hour video. Um, but I'm excited. So yeah, I need to get a Starbucks, some petrol, and then head to Leeds. I'm all over the UK today. And as if by magic, here we are at the second location of the day. We are at Khan Design in Leeds. It's one of their big, big showrooms around the UK. Now, if you don't know about Khan Design, they uh, you are sort of most famous, I guess, for modifying, cosmetically changing Range Rovers and Jeeps. But they do loads of other stuff, and they do also have a sort of supercar division. Um, so let's head inside and see what's going on. Uh, you've got a sort of wide track defender here, which looks kind of mean. We've got a Range Rover Sport, looks a bit like my dad's, lol. Um, huge, <laughs> that is a beast of a Range Rover. A nice little Evoque, another huge Range Rover. That one's actually really mean, really, really mean. But then you come through to the back room and as you can see we have a number of Ferraris and a whole load of Defenders. So let's break down the room. 612, which I actually think is a hideous Ferrari, but Tom TG is obsessed with these. Um, and they were, I think they were quite popular. I'm not really sure, but I just, I was never sold on the looks. A 316, very nice blue on that. A really cool 355 with BBS wheels, which I think is wicked. And a 348 at the end. And then if we come back round, yes, there's more over there, people. <laughs> we have got a line of defenders. But then as you can see behind me is where the real heavyweight stuff starts. This is a new project that Car Design have been working on. As you can see, it is a Vantage somewhere in there. It has got the most ridiculously aggressive rear wing. I don't know if you can see the angle on that. Then you've got an SLR Roadster, really, really nice. Black with the red roof. That looks really cool. We've got an old Porsche convertible, a Hummer. Got a Vanquish. We've got a Panamera, a Bentley. A Jag, Jag. And then what looks to be another project, which I think is what? Is that going to be like a Zagato project car? Now we've had a look around inside, we're actually going to jump in to one of the Chelsea trucks. This is actually a Jeep Wrangler, but all modified and looking awesome, and go for a bit of a cruise to see what these things are like. I don't think I've actually ever driven a Wrangler. This one in particular looks so nice. I love the blue on this. Really love the blue. And then, yeah, that is just so cool. Like, tyre writing, but done legitimately. And it just looks really beefy and mean, this. The grills and the bonnet. But yeah, so we're going to go on a quick cruise for this. Check it all out. I'm excited. Okay, I'm now in the driver's seat and ready to start up the car. I've been joined, you can't see me sat over there, by Tom, who's one of the salesmen here at the Leeds uh, showroom. Um, and my first initial reactions is that the windscreen's quite narrow, so it is time, people, for the point of view glasses. These have been working a treat today. Well, I say that, I could have got back and realised they haven't been working, but in my mind, they're working well. <laughs> These are really cool, they're very American. Um, but I like that, and Tom's just told me, in all of them, you can pop off these roof panels, so basically all of the cars are convertibles. So what is nice is you do feel really high up in this thing, like it is cool. And that was my, that's what I love about the Defender, is you feel like you're in sort of this big, cool, rough and ready car. And as nice as this is inside with the leather seats and the leather steering wheel, it does still feel like a cool, let's take it to the beach on spring <laughs> break. <laughs> so as you know where you wear around here? I have absolutely 
absolutely no idea where I'm going. Just, in. Just, just drive, mate. Perfect, cool. We'll work our way back. If I already owned a Jeep Wrangler, could I bring it to you and get you to do apply all the parts, or do you only do it on new models? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we do, do yeah. Yeah. Generally, that is the more expensive way to do it. I'm sure. Well, because everything's retail, and when you buy the full car, we obviously get a good discount from Jeep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of yeah. course, of course. <clears throat> yeah. It is actually really cool, this thing. I wasn't so, I wasn't really <laughs> expecting to be that cool, but it's much more... Basically, I made a video yesterday, Tom wouldn't know this, but I made a video banging on about Defenders and how much I'm obsessed with Defenders. But this is a much more uh, dignified experience. <laughs> Firstly, it's auto. It doesn't feel like it's about to fall apart. <laughs> as much as I love Defenders, they are slightly crappy. Yeah. <laughs> but this is like a proper car. The temptation would be just to take off the roof and the doors. You can remove the fucking doors <laughs> on this thing, which I think is so cool. That's and the windscreen, so... No, you can't. Yeah, yeah, so that's what them bungs on the bonnet are for, so the windscreen pops up. No! Yeah, oh yeah. my god! <laughs> and how much is this car? This one is 36. 36 grand? That's it? You're joking? That's, that's it, that's it, yeah. All in. Okay, and then, and then in terms of, let's say we were to sort of like really tile it up and put loads of car bits on, like what is a fully kitted out? If I wanted to do everything, what's like your. Oh. For a Wrangler? Yeah. 50, 60? Yeah, I've sold one for about 55, yeah. Okay, yeah. Fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's Which is still pretty good, but that's like everything ticked. Yeah, colour change, interior. Oh, so you, you do a full respray as well? You can... Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, in fact, that red one that I sent to you, yeah. saying, do you want to buy this <laughs> one? Sure. <Yeah. laughs> stop, stop telling people that I've been inquiring about these cars, Tom. <laughs> so, yes, I, I should probably come out and tell the truth here, guys. Um, uh, the reason that I know Tom is that quite, actually, quite a while ago yeah. now, I inquired about uh, these Chelsea Trap Jeep Wranglers because I do think they're really, really cool um, and they're different. You don't see a lot of them, and I think spec'd up the right way, they just look mega. Um, and I do love the idea that you can just pop off roofs and stuff like that. Um, so, yes, yeah, so that's the first time we met when I was like, <laughs> I want to buy one. Well, that was actually really cool, a really pleasant surprise. I think, I mean, not only does it look very cool, and the fact you can take the entire roof, doors, and windscreen off makes it amazing, but it's having an auto because the Defender is a bit of a slog, it's got a crap gearbox and I'm going to be using a daily, if that's what we're going to call it, in London the most, so... Yeah! What an awesome, awesome day and I'm now actually headed, finally, back down to London so my brief adventure up north is over. Uh, it's been a couple of days, a couple of awesome, awesome days. Something I've been wanting to do for a long time, so I'm so glad I've done it. But it's back down to London for the final couple of days of the STG 100K celebration week. Um, I'm excited to get home, if I'm honest. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. Now, I have a bit of a confession to make before I spin around. I am a secret Land Rover Defender obsessive. <laughs> you think the best defenders are through here <gasps> okay check out the wheels on this and it's even got sort of riveted wheel arches it is now time to switch to the kind of other side of the business which is the supercars Holy crap. 